Hello, I'm Chris B. Spizak. Uh, I am not George Pavlik. Uh, this is Russ. Uh, we are from the uh, Pittsburgh Players Podcast, and we are bringing you a special event, which is us playing on Thursday Battlegrounds at yep. uh, the store, uh, CCGs, Cards, Comics, and Games, which you can see we're using one of uh, the lovely mats there. And uh, who's that playing on that mat? Uh, that would be me. I was playing a control paladin deck versus local player George, who was playing a Murlock Rush deck. And uh, who yeah. won the die roll? I can't even remember. I th- I did. I did. I won the die. Okay, roll. so that's, he's he's running Murlock Rush. He's actually the warrior hero. For if you can't see, yeah, Wargle, um, Wargle, whatever his name is. Yeah, and uh, so you'll notice that uh, both players are playing Hallows End cards, and apparently Spee's left a card behind there. That yeah, those, those, those sleeves are slippy. Yeah, well, say. I mean, you know, just like Slippy Fist, which is the ally that you desperately need to kill yes. in this match. So I I'm all again seeing, immediately. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Spee's hand here did not have something to kill Slippy Fist, who yeah. is the one drop who makes all the Murloc allies elusive, which is right. honestly probably the biggest threat. If they're ready, but he never taps them because he doesn't want them to die. Yeah, which I mean, is is smart play. That's fine, you know. Build up a Murloc army. Yep. So That's I saw a Holy Wrath. You'll notice that there are sometimes pieces of paper in our decks. Yep. Uh, these battlegrounds on Thursdays for us, uh, we have sometimes have a proxy policy. Yeah, uh, uh, it's proxy because someone took my cards out of my deck and took them to worlds. Um, Pat <laughs> Essie. Uh, <laughs> so I was running Karnless. Now. Yeah, so uh, we have a Karn. Uh, I made a Karn token. And, and there's Slippy Fist. Oh, the best. The best. And so I, I had a plan, and the plan wasn't a good one. The plan was to stash the Savage in that you can kind of see that's hidden on the left side of my hand. And hope. Yeah, and hope. So hoping for laser guided savages. Yes, but first I played. Uh, first. Bronze Drake. Getting my hero assault one. Just make sure to do that first before I stash Savage in. And is this a laser guided Savage in? Nope, because this hero took two. <laughs> uh, and then he took another one and another one from Karn Tokens. So, uh, when Savage in misses, uh, sometimes that can just be the end of the day. Right? Yeah, I was not feeling good because I didn't have cards that can kill Slippy Fish Freaking at slippy the moment, fish. at least. You know, I have ho- Holy Wrath in my hand, but I don't know. Oh, look, is that a Mazakin I think it is true? That is a Mazakin, which is kind of a worthless card here. So what are you going to do on turn three? Uh, let's see. Thinking, thinking. thinking. So uh, for those of you who don't know, Spees usually plays a deck that just turns guys sideways. Yes. Um, and one of the reasons for that is that Spees has a physical inability to draw relevant cards at the right times. Time. I had out to hit to a one health elusive ally. I swear I do in my deck. Yeah, and notice that uh, despite the fact that he has Twilight Citadel on the board, Etch Dragon Bone Girdle will not be making an appearance. No, because that would be that would be swell if I had those two cards. At the same there are time. four in that deck. Yeah. Rest assured. Um, I'm, if you also notice that the one card in there in my hand... Oh, God, look at all those Murlocs that just came out. Uh-oh, I said something to him. Uh, you, you were thinking... Oh, okay, the, the one... The, he played the one Murloc that it deals one to my hero when him or another Murloc enters play, and the reason I stopped George there, because he just threw out all three guys at the same time and just said, take three, I had a response in my hand to that. Yes, so uh, Spees is playing a slightly underwhelming card, called Repentance, yep. because he was trying it out. It gave him an answer to some equipment and some abilities that normally you just don't have an answer yeah. to in Paladin. Uh, the problem, and it is a big problem, is that the... Yeah, there, there George threw away the wrong card. I was correcting him. He thought the... Uh, whatever the Murloc's name is that deals the... It's actually the Murloc that comes into play that deals the one, so... He threw away so the wrong trying, card, and I corrected him. Spees is trying to keep George uh, from flipping, from yeah. getting five Murlocs and flipping and yeah. making the game unwinnable. Uh, the game has now become unwinnable, incidentally, because Spees has no answer to Slippy yeah. Fist. I just which, don't. if he did, he would suddenly, he would probably win this game right there. But, but, uh, by the way, uh, 
I the main reason I chose Repentance over like I don't know a really good card called Holy Shock was because of the fact that I own no Holy Shocks, but yet I could not stop pulling Repentance out of World Breaker every time I bought that set. So <laughs> yes, I that wish I had, if you saw there I have another Repentance that I drew that turn in my hand. If those two Repentances were Holy Shocks, I would feel like a million bucks in this game. See, I think you made a mistake that that turn. Why? I do not think you should have played the Corrupted Eggshell. I think you should have just left your... You should have made a token and left two open. It didn't really matter. He was still going to flip anyways. And I figured that if I made the token, it would put a threat on the board that he would probably attack was one of his dudes into my token. And then but, I would get one less, you know, take three less damage. At this point, I was doing anything I could to not die. At this point. I felt like even if you left four up and flipped, you would put yourself in a better position. That would make me take, take one less damage. While this move, as George contemplates his move, so George does attack, attack, to to attack. attack my token. Yeah. I protect the first time, and then he just killed it with something else. And there goes my egg. Egg down. Egg down. So Spees is now in a position where he has to get to six resources to yeah. play that holy route. George just cleared my board with his super, super big murlocs. I think George should have probably just said, screw it, go to the face. See, you could have repentanced the Chumley, though. Why? Even after he flipped, after he got the attack off on Nibbler, just to take a plus one, plus one away from his field. How would I repentance it? When it came into play, it dealt you one damage. The same thing you did. Oh, uh, that's last true. Time. Yeah, I actually didn't think of it at the time, but he still would have flipped. Would yeah, have flipped. I mean, you were you were in some trouble, but if you saved yourself one, two, three damage there at least, and Chumley can't hit you next turn, and then that puts you in a position where you know maybe you can survive to play Holy Wrath. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, it's kind of iffy. See, this is the Spees is considering his move and feeling bad about it. Yeah, life. if you notice my hand is a repentance, <laughs> a Mazaken, and a Holy Wrath. It's not a good board. At this point, I'm just trying to bluff George out because he does sometimes get – you You can't get under his skin. I thought the last turn when he killed my two one, – basically one one allies was a bad move on his part. I thought he should have just went for the dome. Oh, look at that. Warrior bottle. His guys are super big now. Yep. So that's a Chumley attacking me for a lot. Uh, six. Yeah, which was a slight mistake on his part, but it didn't matter. Because that repentance it to take four less damage from his other Morlocks. Didn't matter. I'm still dead. Yeah. I guess Holy Shock there, you could have Holy Shocked him and saved yourself one attack from another guy. Yeah. Holy right. shock! Like I like like I said, this whole tor this whole tournament I played. Every time I played Repentance, I was like, "Please God, I wish it was a holy shock." Yep. And there's the end of the game. Ugh. So, yep, George got me. Well, I thank everyone for listening. We're gonna maybe make this a more permanent thing, and hope you uh like what. If you doing. all have suggestions for decks you would like to see played here. We'd love to just submit them to us yep. so that we can, uh, you know, test them out. All right.